My name is T.C. Johnson, and I am the president of the Frisky Coalition. Uh, welcome to our Frisky family, uh, all our new coordinators out there. Uh, this is such an awarding position that you will be serving in, and I'm sure that you all will do a great job. So again, I want to say welcome to the Frisky family. Bridging barriers and changing lives by whatever it takes. So I'd just like to give you, take this opportunity to give you a little bit history about the coalition. As part of the Kentucky Family Resource and Youth Services Centers, we were reestablished our components as part of the Kentucky Reform Act of 1990. The mission for these uh, school-based centers was to help academically at-risk children, students to to succeed in school by helping to maximize and eliminate non-cognitive barriers in learning. So the coalition was actually founded in 1991 by the center's coordinators as membership and advocacy organization with support for the for the Frisky Initiative by voicing concerns and policymakers and leading the evolution of the program. We are bridging barriers and changing lives since 1991. And who are we? The Family Resource and Youth Service Center Coalition is a nonprofit professional that includes educators, human service providers, and who come all come together to provide legislative advocacy training, support for Family Resource and Youth Services Center coordinators in for the children of Kentucky. Our mission for the coalition promotes a network including educators, family support, uh, uh, and human services providers who strive to remove educational barriers to learning in order to learn from each other, share resources, collaborate more effectively on behalf of families, children, and youth. Our goals are simple. The goal of the coalition is to provide a network that removes those barriers for success. In other words, we come together, we share our resources to collaborate, to be more effective in how we help and support our families. Our governing body, the Family Resource Youth Service Center of Kentucky's governing body consists of five executive board members and 21 board of directors representing all 11 regions across the, across the state of Kentucky, as well as the division of Family Resource Youth Service Center and the Kentucky Department of Education. The coalition website has helpful links that you can find your legislators. And our primary goal is for us to connect with our legislators so that they can see what activities and programs that we are providing for those, for our children and families. The information is building on relationships that we build with our legislators. What's the difference between advocacy and lobbying? Well, please visit our website for more tips on this subject. Here's our board, our executive board uh, that I have started my present, being the president as of July. Megan uh, Nicodemus is our uh, president elect. Mike Fillion is our secretary. Tina Cook is our vice president. And Sherry Paul is our treasurer. We also have um, committees. Uh, we have Leslie Hall as uh, our former past president who's now representing Region 11. Sandra Boo Barnes is our historian. Uh, Michelle Henson is our membership chair. Rebo Reynolds, public policy. Doug Jones, public policy. We have Lindsay Spears is the Department of Education representative. Paula Hunter is our immediate past president. Melissa Goins is our division uh, director and Marianne Jennings is our associate director for the divisions. 
We also have uh, our board of directors and we have those that serve from region one to region 11. Uh, we have actually two representatives in region three and two in uh, region 11. And those um, representatives will be making contact with you to give you information, to provide uh, newsletters, uh, and they're there for your support. So reach out to your regional representatives. We want you to join our team. All persons interested in health, education, and well-being of all children, youth, and families may become a member of the Family Resource Youth Service Center Kentucky Coalition. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress, and working together is a success by Henry Ford. The Board of Friskies may establish categories of memberships and associations with different rights and benefits that level, that's all levels of dues. So we are going to be having our uh, Fall Institute and that's a, a great place for you to be able to pay your dues and join the coalition. The annual membership of the Frisky Coalition entitles individual memberships or designated representatives of all organizations. That gives you equal voting powers, opportunity to hold office in the Frisky Coalition, opportunity to receive scholarships to attend trainings and other conferences uh, throughout uh, uh, the coalition, uh, membership card, affiliation with other professional organizations, uh, the Frisky Incorporated newsletter and e email uh, emailed to members, uh, information on current advocacy issues pertaining to children, youth, and families. So just go to our Frisky website and you will be able to find more information about uh, membership opportunities. What correlative memberships do does for you? In 2015, the coalition advocated to receive an increase of $1 million in funding. Our advocacy, uh, receptions, legislative meetings, committees, meetings, and special projects by the coalition is 2,065 hours every year. So that goes above and beyond our working in our centers to be able to provide different activities throughout the coalition. Our advocacy uh, efforts that increased funding in 2018 the, and the advocacy at the Capitol, the Frisky Public Policy Committee averages 75,000 steps per year at the Capitol equal, equaling 35 miles walked on behalf of each year and organized the page day to organize the page days for our students and families. Frisky advocacy efforts lead to increased funding in 2019 for centers and additional centers across the state serving over 30,000 more students. So we are, we have almost 900 centers across the state of Kentucky. The bonus for eligible membership is a $500 scholarship grant to the state and national trainings through the Frisky Coalition is in an additional uh, benefit. Five reasons to join. If you elect four, if elected, four, you must attend four meetings. Uh, general membership meetings are held annually. Frequent legislative information also follows. Memberships come in also different options. It comes center, it comes individual, organizational, uh, associates and patron or legacies. 
Option one is center. Center coordinators are supported staff at $60 annually. The school districts that are paying, that pay for the fees, the membership remains within the center. And if there is a current coordinator that leaves, the new coordinator inherits the existing membership for the remainder of the membership period. Option two is individual. This is the Frisky co uh, coordinator or support staff is $60 annual. And this is for individuals who are writing a personal check for membership. If individuals change jobs during the membership period, the membership remains with that person. Option three is organizational. This is the coordinator plus two. It is $115 annually. This membership option uh, allows the coordinator plus two additional frisky staff or school administrators or advisory council members from the same center to join. Option four is associates. It's $35 annually. The, uh, available for non-frisky staff, that's principal, district contacts, and other positions not funded by the frisky funds. Uh, see your benefits for details. Also, there is option five, which is a patron. It's $25 annually. Available for retired frisky coordinators, who wish to continue their support for the Frisky Coalition and to continue receiving news and information regarding the Frisky's programs. Membership, how do I join the coalition team? There are two ways you can register for membership, online membership application and download the membership application. You can just go to the frisky.org and find the uh, online application. You will need to need a purchase order number to complete that application at that time. The membership application is also downloaded on a PDF form that may be completed, scanned, faxed, or mailed. If you have any questions, you may contact your regional representative or Michael Jones or Michelle Henson. Our public policy committee. Each day a small group of frisky coordinators while operating their own centers are working diligently to plan advocacy efforts to educate policymakers, community leaders, and general public on the important impacts that are made by each frisky center in every school district across the Commonwealth. Responsible for legislative advocacy and education efforts, including legislative reception, which is every two years, as well as a coordination of ad annual page days. Also, this uh, 2021, we will be planning a frisky rally. Um, House Bill 241 is in the process of becoming a bill to make the second Wednesday of February of each year, a frisky day in Kentucky. It will be our day to celebrate and give thanks. Uh, so we have uh, Representative uh, Matt Coe, is, uh, he is working on this bill. So we are excited to be able to have a frisky day. Okay, so Frisky events includes our Victory Over Balance Conference that addresses safety and well-being of the whole child in the school and community by addressing social and emotional development issues and family engagement. Workshops are adaptable uh, for Friskies and all other youth and family-focused professions. We also have the Fall Institute. Uh, it celebrates and collaborates the nature of Friskies and the critical work with the community partners. In addition to Frisky workshops, we offer professional learning opportunities for DCBS workers, community educators, the 21st century, staff, guidance counselors, principals, and other school district employees. Bridges Over Barriers is also a, a, an awards that we present at the Fall Institute. 
It is a way for us to salute our community partners for sharing with us and helping us serve our families and our, our children. Uh, there are three categories for this award. It's a nonprofit organization, it's for-profit organization, and it's an individual. You can find a nomination form on our Frisky Kentucky website. Uh, it's an opportunity to be able to salute our, our community partners. I can't emphasize enough on thanking them because we could not do the work that we do without our community partners. So please take a moment to express your appreciation to our community partners for their service, support, and endless commitment to the children and families we serve. We also have the Howard J. Cowan Award for Center Excellence. The Division of Family Resource and Youth Service Centers are seeking nominations for the Howard, for the Harry J. Cowan Award for Center Excellence. The award is, was established in honor of the late Harry Cowan, a former secretary of the Cabinet of Human Resources, an advocate of the Family Resource and Youth Services Center concept. Dr. Cowan had the, the cabinet during the dawn of the Kentucky Educational Reform Act and was a believer in the Frisky concepts. His vision set the foundation for our success today. At the Frisky's Fall Institute, we will honor centers that have made outstanding contribution to the students, family, and communities they serve. Uh, so they are gonna be taking nominations for those uh, applications and uh, nominations at this time. Any center or group of centers that have designated significant impact can be nominated by completing a nomination form. Please be sure to fully complete the form uh, upon, upon the request of the resource uh, nominations will be kept confidential. So that nomination can also be made on the website. Running the Race of Excellence for Kentucky Kids. That is our theme for this year's Fall Institute. And we understand with these difficult times that we're in that we have to do things a little bit different. So this year, our Fall Institute is gonna be virtual, but it's gonna be fun. And so part of what we are planning to do is we are planning to run the Torch of Love with the flame of hope from region to region leading up to our November uh, opening ceremonies for Fall Institute. We also have what we call the Frisky Store. It is now open. It actually opened on today. Uh, so you can go there. There's t-shirts, there's masks, the specialty items, bags. We're at actually adding some new items to our Frisky store. So it is online. So you can also go to the Frisky Kentucky website, coalition website, and you can click on the Frisky online store and see what, um, what items that we actually have on our store. Uh, we will also, it will stay available for seven days and then we will return the store will return prior to the fall institute and it will run through all the the uh, times during fall institute we have some spectacular new items coming into the store so please get your frisky swag Thirty years of the best program for our kids and families in Kentucky. Thirty years ago, Mariah Carey had a number one hit, "Vision of Love." Thirty years ago, Kentucky legislators had a vision to create a program to help Kentucky students and families, non to to eliminate non cognitive barriers to learning. It was a school-based program 
called Family Resource and Youth Service Centers. Each center offers a unique blend of programs and services based on the needs of the population that they serve. We welcome you to the Frisky family. Please feel free to give us a call. Check out our website and our social media. We have it's www.frysky.org. We also have a Facebook page, so you can find that at Family Resource Youth Service Center Coalition of Kentucky. There is also a Twitter. Uh, our um, thanks goes out to Michael Jones. He is our administrative manager for our coalition. Uh, his information is available there. We also have a newsletter that will be coming out on Monday called In The Loop. So be sure to look for In The Loop and it will have information from our director, our division director and from the president of the coalition. And you are more than welcome to please contact me at any time. I am here at Winburn Middle School. Uh, I uh, have been here for 20 years and I am humble and honored to serve you through the next chapter of the Family Resource Youth Service Center Kentucky Coalition. Join our team as we move forward. Go Team Frisky. I would also like to take this opportunity to extend our prayers to all our colleagues across the state who are experiencing health challenges, struggles, and the loss of loved ones during this time. We are there for you and we are in our love. We just ask that our hands be blessed, that we may be fruitful. So again, thank you and welcome to Frisky Coalition. Please give me a call, email me at any time. Thank you and have a great Frisky year.